Hi everyone, welcome to day 15 of my 30 day person growth challenge. Today is June 20th. So last time when I had spoken to you guys, I think it was a Monday and today is Saturday. So it's been quite some time. And last week I was a little bit held up with my work stuff. It was really chaotic and the few like free time slots that I got here and there, I managed to, you know, like get out of the house, get in some fresh air and all of it and there was one day in between wherein i did have the time to film a video like edit and schedule and all of that and i didn't really feel like you know doing it i just managed to give up like give some kind of excuses saying that uh, there's too much of work going on and i don't want to do it and all of that and i was just talking to my friend about it i was telling her that you know i'm not really feeling like filming the video what you know like i'm just not feeling like doing it and when I was talking to her, I just suddenly realized this concept that I'd come across a few months back and that is called the dip. So what happens is that whenever you start something new, right, like whether it's a job or whether you're working on a goal or whether it's some kind of a project or anything, initially you'll be really motivated to work on it, like you'll be really excited, you'll manage to show up every day and there's, there's some kind of excitement in you to work on those stuff. But then what happens is there will come a point where you don't really feel like working on it and you lose all the motivation. When it comes to critical things like job or any other particular work wherein we are held accountable by someone else, those are the things wherein we manage to like get through and complete it even though we don't feel like doing it. But when it comes to like projects wherein we are accountable to ourselves, or any kind of goals you know especially like when it comes to workout we think that like oh from next monday onwards i'm gonna like work out five days a week i'm gonna do this i'm gonna like go to the gym every like for an hour every day and all of that but then there will come a point where you don't really feel like doing it and then we give up and that is called the dip so it is very common and it occurs in everything that you are going to do and for everyone motivation is really not something that uh, you know kind of exists throughout the process it's just in the beginning and it comes and goes like here and there when you feel motivated just take advantage of it and like you know work on it but when you don't feel motivated know that it's quite normal not to feel that way and then just do it and whenever you are going through a dip the worst thing that you can do is to like give up you know because if you give up now and then you restart it again like say next monday you are going to experience this dip again and i was this kind of a person wherein i would always do that i would start something and there will come a point wherein you know i really wouldn't feel like working on those things and then i would just give up and then restart on it like again and that is like the, the most tiring thing that you can do it is so exhausting on you and you will always become like you no know, you'll just become this kind of a person who starts and never finishes things in your own eyes and that is really not good it really harms your self-confidence and all of it so when i realized you know when i read about this concept and i kind of heard a lot of podcasts about it and stuff I just got to know that it's quite normal and I shouldn't be resisting to it. I should just accept that, okay, fine, it's fine that I'm not going to feel like, you know, working on this every single day. But it's really important for me that I actually complete this particular challenge or this goal that I'm working on, whether I win, like, or, you know, just like, whether I'm going to achieve this goal or not. When I decided that I'm going to commit to work on this, I am going to do it no matter what and also what you can do in this stage is one thing is to just do it even though you don't feel like doing it and it's going to be hard but that is what is going to help you grow you know as like a person it, that's what will help you grow and one more thing what you can do is like get in that rest with intention concept that I've spoken about if you feel like you're pushing yourself a lot and if there are a lot of consecutive days when you don't feel like doing it but it's you're still pushing yourself too much to do it in between just try and give yourself a break intentionally decide that you're not going to work on this particular goal like say filming this video i i did i did this mistake last week i felt like 
uh, after I finish the work, I'm gonna do it. Instead of that, if I would have thought that, okay, today I am not gonna film, I'm not gonna like uh, force myself to do it. And the next day I could come back and then just do it. I didn't do that. And it's really important. These, this is the problem with like personal development. You know, you're aware of all these concepts, but then if you don't practice it, it's really of no use. So when you're watching all these kind of videos and when you're reading all the books, make sure you're practicing that in your real life and you're not just consuming a lot of this information. So next time, whenever like you are working on a goal and when you come across a time period wherein you're not really feeling like doing it. Try giving yourself like one day of resting with intention intentionally decide that you're not going to work on it don't force yourself to do it and then come back to it and do it even though you don't feel like doing it combine both of these concepts like experiencing the dip and resting with intention and that's really going to help you so next time when you are working on a project and you experience this dip know that it's very normal and just continue to do it anyways so that's it for today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!